the gift of Jesus at baptism. When God gave you Jesus and made you a son and daughter of, of, of God, it is important that we start to understand that we've got to work on receiving this gift. Not receiving, um, not working on proving that we are unworthy, but really working hard to say, oh my goodness, God, this is what you did for me, right? You gave me Jesus. I don't, I don't deserve it. But you know what? You gave me this amazing gift and I want to explore it. I want to receive it because some of us know Jesus, know Jesus, and they really love Jesus, but they know and love Jesus over there. And God is saying, I'm giving you a gift over here. Will you hold my Jesus in your heart? Will you receive Jesus, right? So we have to start being more receptive to this amazing gift called Jesus. Because once we receive Jesus, guess what's going to happen? Transformation is going to happen. And unless we receive the gift of Jesus, we are, we are struggling with receiving. And if we can't start by receiving Jesus, we're going to have difficulty receiving the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We're going to have difficulty understanding, believing, consuming the truth that is it possible the Holy Spirit actually can give me peace, actually can give me joy. We start, we get stuck in the measuring. Oh, I don't deserve to be joyful or I don't deserve this or I don't deserve that. So I want to stress that this, this gift giving concept that St. Paul is, is really coming from. He's saying, God gave you a gift. This gift is, is what we call grace. And this grace is Jesus Christ. And if you receive him, if you accept my gift, he will transform you. And that transformation Guess what? It's going to be your salvation. Jesus is only our salvation when we receive him. So unless we receive the gift, we won't be able to receive salvation. It's there. It's ours. It's like that present that we never really open. Right? So very important. We've got to start putting a little bit more thought and receiving from God. It's not who you are, it's what, not what you've done, it's not where you're at. He loves you, he gave you a gift, his name is Jesus.